Hi guys, welcome back to another Bourbon Santa video. It is Blind Fright, fl Blind Flight Friday. Every Friday I like to do a blind flight because I just love doing them and that's the way I like to kick off my weekend. Today we're doing a blind flight that was sent to me by, my, by Michael O'Malley. There are four, A through D. I put them in my Black Glen Cairns here and um, we're going to go through and see what we've got. I'm so excited. Just from pouring these, I can smell that this is going to be amazing. Let's start with A. Oh, oh. A is absolutely gorgeous on the nose. A, I'm getting a, a good amount of oak, but not an overbearing amount of oak. I'm getting a, a lot of fruit, a lot of fruitiness. Oh man, this is dark caramels and, and burnt brown sugar and fruit. Like I'm getting a lot of red fruit. It's almost grapey. Oh wow, that smells wonderful i'm so excited to taste that it's making my mouth water i'm making my mouth water all right let's nose b b is a different animal b is malty I think this might be a scotch. It's malty, almost on the verge of grainy. I'm getting a lot of cereal notes. I'm getting a breadiness. Oh. I just automatically like this. I'm not getting as much on this nose as I was on this one, but as big of robust flavors, this is more delicate and in a broader palette. I'm getting a little bit of some sort of nuttiness. Not peanut though. Ooh. Ooh. I like that one. On to C. Ooh. <laughs> this is definitely a scotch and this is a sherried scotch. It's got that deep, dark, rich sherry pungence that I get on some kinds of sherry. It, um, it's not with sherried scotches. They I either love them to death or they have this musty, pungent um, note that I that I don't absolutely love. This one's got that that pungent note that I get on um, Jura 18 and um, McAllen 12 Sherry, and also on um, what was the other one? A uh, Balvenie 17, the Double Wood 17. I get that pungent, musky Sherry note. Interesting. I can't wait to taste that. Last but not least, D. I... This one is dark and grapey and fruity. I think this one is also a scotch. Definitely finished. It's not finished in sherry though. I haven't had enough Madura cask scotches to um, to know if it's that, but it's could be port. It's definitely not sherry though, because I don't get the sweet fruity 
pretty sherry notes or the musky, funky sherry notes. All right, let's taste these things. Oh, God dang, coming back to this one, whoo. That is, whatever this is, that is a beautiful, pretty sure it's bourbon. I'm a little, a little worried now since these three are scotch. <laughs> this might be bourbon, but I get the, the um, I get, I, I think I'm getting corn notes. Yeah, that's, this is a bourbon. This is a bourbon. This is an old bourbon. I get the, the um, old oak, um, the old oak bitter. It's a distinctly different bitter than just bitter oak. Because sometimes barrels will have a bitter oak flavor. But this is an old kind of bitter. Mmm. That's just wonderful. That is just lovely. It's all dark and rich and textures of oak and vanilla and cherry and oof. Mm. And it's just the finish is, is still going and going. Wow. That's a beautiful, I think, bourbon. <laughs> I think bourbon. <laughs> all right. Let's, let's taste B. This one's pretty too, and I don't know if it's because I just tasted this one, but I'm picking up like vanilla and cherry um, along with that maltiness. Oh, that's beautiful. It's biscuity and like shortbread biscuity and, and sweet. And, but it's still got the, some, some oak happening. I, I think this is not very young either. Mm. It's got a, on the second sip, it's got a, a, a little chocolate note that blooms and then runs away into um, oak bitter. Wow. That's great too. All right, now I'm pretty sure this is the sherry. Yes, this is definitely a sherry. It's got that funky... Um, the note, the funky sherry note, to me, and this is gross, but to me, it reminds me of a newborn baby's dirty diaper. It's like the, the plasticky of the... Or the, the chemicals and the fabric of the diaper along with I know that's gross that's gross but on some sherried scotches that's the note I get that's where my brain goes is to all of my babies <laughs> let's try it oh yeah oh yeah I I don't know if I've had this one before, but I've had something very, very, very similar. It's not Jura. It's not Macallan. Um, the taste to me, for my palate, is way better than the nose. The nose has that funky musty note. The taste doesn't. The taste just goes straight into... Um, a little spice from the from the malt and and that and then right into that sweetness that rich like overly sweet almost artificial sweet from the sherry absolutely from the sherry all right i'm gonna okay Try this. Oh man. Oh, son of a gun. 
that is dark and rich and it goes acorns and then straight into peaches and um dates and then there's like this string of bitter through like interweaving between them and there's there's coffee a heavy coffee note mm. when you go back to the nose after tasting it the grain notes or the cereal multi notes are really really abundant Oh man, <clears throat> the the coffee, it's like coffee and tobacco and chocolate, you know, mixed right on the, on the end of the palate. It's making my mouth water so much. Right on the end of the palate, after you hit that chocolate and the apricot and the peach notes and all that, that like dried fruity notes. Wow. Okay. D is amazing. D is whew, amazing. B is flatter. Um, I don't think B is finished. B is probably aged in bourbon casks because I'm picking up some of that vanilla and some of that cherry and some of those those typical bourbon notes. Um, okay, I'm pretty sure this is a bourbon. I'm pretty sure this is a scotch that's probably aged in bourbon barrels. Pretty sure that this, I'm 100% sure that this is sherry. This one, I don't know the finish on. I'm pretty sure it's a finished whiskey, and I'm pretty sure that I've had this before as well. Oh, man. Oh, man. That is wonderful. So... Of these, these are my two favorites. A and D are my two favorites. D is just so alive with so much complex flavor. And A is a gorgeous, gorgeous bourbon, I think. Let's find out. Get another knife. Okay, here we go. Ooh, ooh, oh wow, okay. A is Elijah Craig, 18 year, barreled on um, 8, oh, 892, 1992. This is an old bottle. Oh, that's right. I remember his message now. He was sending me stuff that's all really old. From, all right. Cool. Um, B is a Glen Rothis, 1984, bottled in 2005. And I can't read on the label if it says there, what the finish is on it or, or if it's unfinished. I, I don't know. I'll compare this later to my current Glen Rothis, my uh, Whiskey Maker's Cut. I'm going to compare those later, A, B, M, and C, what I think of the differences. C is Glendronic 15. Now, I'm pretty sure I had a sample of Glendronic 15 before, but um, he said on this one he's not sure the dates. But your bottle looks way older than the one that I had, and I can see on the front of it that it's 100% matured in sherry casks, so I was dead on with that. D is Balvenie Portwood. Now, I have had Balvenie Portwood, um, the 21-year Portwood, but my bottle is much newer than yours. This is a 1991, and it was bottled in 2005. So, dang. But this, it, now that I know what it is, this does remind me of my Balvenie Portwood. And I, I still have a sample left of my bottle. It's my bottle's... But I, I have a sample left. I'm going to compare them later. Awesome. This is so cool. So, bourbon, 
scotch, scotch, scotch. Awesome. Thank you, Michael O'Malley. I really appreciate it. This is amazing. I can't wait to compare these. Now, I have to tell you, I had a bottle of Elijah Craig 18 that looks the same as yours. Now, yours was barreled in 92, so it was bottled in 2010. Obviously, your bottle is way older than mine, but I had the same style bottle. It looks slightly different, but really close, and I absolutely loved that bottle. I was sad when it was gone. Thank you so much for the sample. I I really appreciate it. It was amazing. Thank you. And thank you guys for watching. Until next time, have a great day.